Welcome to the 50th Saturday Live Show. We did it. I'm so excited to talk to everyone today. The 50th Live Show. Wow. Haven't missed one yet. So excited for today. I have a lot of great guests coming in, a lot of tribute videos to play too. So it's going to be a fun time for all. So thank you for all of you that are coming in to view the session today. Now, before we get started, some housekeeping, a word from our lawyers. So just so you know, Saturday Live Show is copyright protected against use by any third parties unless approval is provided by yours truly. So let's get that out of the way. That's all the lawyer talk. Um, we have a full schedule of things to do today. I'll put the exchange rate in there because everyone's always curious what the Thailand exchange rate is. And uh, so we'll put that up there now. I wanted to say before we get started even more, uh, thank you to today's moderators. Thank you for 50 great shows. So could not do what I've done this year and last year without the help of the moderators. All those individuals are valued. It allows me to focus on the content and the guests that I have in and not have to worry about chat messages and this kind of thing. So thank you for all you've done. You've been there behind the scenes as well before the shows. I've run a lot of the live videos by them, the recorded videos for the show. They give me the thumbs up and you know what? Sometimes they give me the thumbs down. Yeah, I got a couple of thumbs down this week, man. So those videos will go on the vault. Maybe we'll play them during an intermission video later when I come back from my hiatus. <laughs> so who knows? What are you going to do with those? Hey, you can't win all the time. But I am mean, getting an alert that, see, Lucas is such a pain in my butt. All right, hang on. I got to, Lucas wants to say something here. Lucas, all right, what's up? I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> That was clothes and boots. So clothes, boots. I do not have a motorcycle. So sorry, Lucas. Boy, Lucas demands a lot on these live shows. He has like his rider of things. I knew he had to have some jelly beans in a dish sitting there for him in his condo. So it's rough. You got to take care of this guy, though. He's a big hitter. Got a lot of subscribers. So wanted to go back to the live chat and welcome some people in here. Let me just do this. Go to my comments area. I've got a lot of great folks in here today. Chocolate Man in Thailand saying hello. I see him in the green room today. I see that's my style. She'll be coming in a little bit later saying hello to everyone. And my guy, I just lost him. He says that cornbread is the sign of a developed nation. So just so people that don't know, Gomor Haiki loves his cornbread. He's always trying to see where he can get it in Thailand, and he's a big fan of it. So it's a little weird. That's okay. But he's been a long-time viewer and moderator of the show. So we appreciate all that he does. And Prince O Worldwide is laughing his ass off. That's what it's all about today is to laugh, get escape from all the craziness that's going on right now. Just have a smile. Have a laugh. Maybe we'll even get Chuck to smile. Let's see if we can make Chuck smile in the green room. Can you smile, Chuck? No. See, that was kind of like a half smile. We're going to make him smile today. We're bringing him in. I see James is smiling and laughing. Maggie is. They're all ready to go. So I wanted to let you know, I appreciate everyone that's kind of coming in and viewing the uh, live stream today. I did have some videos that came in from some of our subscribers, and I wanted to play one of those for you now. So let me clear out this banner. 
And it comes from one of our subscribers, Gator Jake. So he was nice enough to uh, send a nice little tribute video in for me. And I will select that now. We'll come back and we'll start talking about the, uh, the live chat here. So have a look at this. Yo, Richard, it's Gator Jake coming to you from a swamp in the Sunshine State dropping by to wish you a huge congratulations on the event of your 50th live show. What a great accomplishment. And also, thank you for all of the wonderful entertainment that you've provided us for basically the last year. So now we understand it's time for Richard to Recharge. So you take as much time as you need, brother, and we'll see you on down the road. Take care. Thank you for that, Gator Jake. I appreciate that. And I was just thinking to myself, 50th live show, we got the gold theme going on with this kind of stuff, but we're missing something. You know what it is? We're missing some champagne. We got to crack it open. And just so you know, I'm wearing protective eyewear today, but we're going to crack this open. I'm no good at doing this kind of stuff. So this might be a good blooper outtake. We're going to give ourselves some mimosas today. I'm going to do a professional style here. Who's laughing in the chat right now already? All right. Wish me luck, guys. I see Maggie. She's laughing. She knows no good comes from this. Ah, there we go. All right. Some champagne for the 50th show, but we're going to class it up a little bit because I'm a classy guy. So we don't drink champagne by itself at 8 o'clock in the morning U.S. time. We do what's called a mimosa, which is a little bit of orange juice. So a little bit of, very little bit of orange juice. And some champagne. All right. There we go. Cheers to all of you that have watched the show, liked, subscribed, shared it with your friends. Cheers to all of you out there. I really appreciate you guys coming in and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. I never in my wildest dreams thought that we'd have 50 consecutive shows and get the traction that we have. So I appreciate that. Cheers to you. I'll have another drink because it's pretty good. Very nice. All right, we'll put that off to the side here. And we'll put this champagne back in the ice. I'm so pleased that uh, I did not actually crash any lights with that uh, little opening of the bottle. <laughs> so let's uh, take a look who we got in the chat. It's chat here. We got Jeff Johnson coming in. Chocolate Man in Thailand. Or Thought that my opening was hilarious. A Rays fan says, to the moon with the 50th shows. Awesome. Hello to all of those individuals that are coming in today. And let's talk a little bit about that because it is kind of a packed schedule. So the schedule today, we have five groups of vloggers coming in. So they're going to be coming in at 15 minutes, 35 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour 10, an hour 25 into the show today. The lineup is pretty incredible. So we this is kind of an order of them coming in. Maggie's Journey, No Time to Be Sad. I'll let you guys kind of read that. I won't read it through it, read it through it myself. But a lot of great individuals coming in to just commiserate and kind of share some funny stories about all of their visits. You know, I got some great ones to share that some of the YouTube creators don't even know. You know, technical issues I was having behind the scenes with things like Chuck's uh, interview that I did with them. I was very stressed out. We'll talk about that. And then we also have two other individuals coming in toward the end as well. So see you around Guang, who's been on our show before. Greeny Travels and... Phi. So I forgot to put Phi in there. You know, it's like community there, Greeny Travels and Phi. So they'll be coming in um, for that. So let me go back over here to the chat, get some comments here. And let's see, Pud Fighty made it in here today. Great. Finn West, Aloha Rishar. Congrats on the 50th. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Um, and then David from Wales is saying, and I'm going to be busy today. He definitely will be with all of the uh, guests coming in. And expat pete saying hello to everyone let's see i think who the first person was in the chat today was actually chocolate man in thailand <laughs> so he was the first one coming in so yep and chocolate was saying thanks for the 50th there we go got rides for kicks in there i saw so it's so funny we we're having some little pre-interviews a couple minutes before the show we had uh lucas and brian flowers and uh it was pretty funny what we were doing in there. We had Day State Fox in there, all kind of cracking jokes, this kind of stuff. I told him, I said, you guys got to get out of here. All the good content is happening behind the scenes. We want to have this on the show itself. So they'll be coming up a little bit later. I'm excited to talk to these individuals because I'll tell you, with the people that are coming on today, no way would I've had the success I've had all year 
without them. You know, when we started this live show, we had just over 100 subscribers. Now we're over 8,000 and the channel's still growing. So I'm excited for that growth. And I'm having this big celebration today because I need a bit of a break. So, you know, we don't know how long that break's going to be, but I want to make sure that I'm always providing my best content for you. And sometimes that means, you know, taking some time off to recharge the batteries. You know, when I originally started doing the live show, it was really just supposed to be a temporary thing. You know, I was planning on getting back to Thailand in November of 2020. I was there in February of 2020. I wanted the whole situation to kind of run its course. And I think most of us were thinking November to come back. So I figured, well, let's just kind of start a live show. Let's interview some guests just to kind of keep the channel afloat. I wasn't looking to grow it, anything like that. I was looking to just kind of stay where it was to keep my thousand subscribers, you know, not go under that again. And uh, it's been the best thing I've done is actually to interview friends, uh, make friends and have them on the show. So the channel's really excelled and it's been going on longer than I would have liked. <laughs> I would have liked to have been in Thailand now actually recording vlogs and this kind of stuff. But that's kind of why the uh, live show has kind of morphed into these videos and stuff that I do because I really enjoy editing videos. So I love doing that kind of thing. And the live show kind of gives me that platform to where I can start to kind of load in some of those. You know, a lot of it's just kind of funny. I make fun of people <laughs> that, you know, all with their blessings. So we have some we have some fun with that kind of stuff. So let me do this. I have a tribute video from Chuck from No Time to Be Sad. And then I wanted to bring in Maggie's Journey, who is currently eating in the green room right now. <laughs> I see you, Maggie. Maggie's like trying to, all right, no. Eat it all and then get ready to come back in the show here. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy in the green room here, guys. I'm getting ready to bring everyone in. So thank you for all that's, uh, that's come in the show. I'm going to provide you with this tribute video from Chuck. He was nice enough to do this for me. I won't speak too much. The moderators always tell me I give it away in the video. Just play the video. So I'll do that and we'll bring Maggie into the live show. Richard, we are having a party for your 50th video series. I would have sent you an invitation, but I know you can't come. I'm very sorry. But me and Paige both congratulate you on 50 wonderful videos. Keep it up. You're doing an awesome job. Can't wait to see you when you finally get to Thailand. We're having a big party in your honor with the mafias. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Chung Tungyao, congratulations. We'll see you on about 300,000 more videos. Great job, Richard. See you when you get here. Hey, Maggie. Oh, I can't quite hear you. No audio. Hello. There you go. Turn off the mute. Boy, I really like this champagne. This is quite good. I'll be drunk by the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations again for your 50th live show. Thank you. And I wanted to bring you on first as the only one here because you were my first guest on the show about a year ago. So for those of you that don't know, like it was never that easy to get guests on when I started to think about, I'm going to bring guests on the show, people like Maggie. Um, guess what? Uh, nobody wanted to come on. <laughs> but, uh, Richard, who? <laughs> this is crazy. Travel. Get that guy out of here. I don't do interviews. I do, I do my own live streams. Uh, so a little bit of an uphill battle to get people to sort of come on. And Maggie was so nice. She agreed to come on. And I think I had you like a couple weeks in a row because I couldn't get any <laughs> guests. But it was so much fun. And we, we made friends. And I can't wait to get back to actually meet you in person now. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how are things going in your neck of the woods? Everything good what? at home? Everything yeah. good at home? Sure. Um, yeah. It's good on my side, but maybe not for everyone. So <laughs> it's too yeah. good for me. Yeah. It's so funny because one of the things I think, so we brought you on just now and you had no, I couldn't hear you audio wise, but we've had times like in the past when I first started doing the show where I would have really bad internet. Sometimes uh -huh. I would freeze up. You couldn't hear me. Sometimes you couldn't hear me. It was just so many technical issues. It seemed like early on in the show that uh, sometimes you would, I wouldn't be able to hear you at all. You pixelate up, and it's so nice that now we've gotten those all that stuff worked out. Yeah. So, so what happened? What happened to your internet? Yeah, Is you know what better? I did. It's much better. So I think after a couple weeks of that, I finally discovered that I could increase my internet speed. So I did that, and then I also started plugging in to the internet. So no more Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has been done for like 10 months. So I have like an adapter I plug in legit. So yeah, very good. <laughs> I learned the hard yeah. way. 
I should try that. That is also another reason that I don't like to do live stream so much because the shitty internet is very annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it can be. And that's the biggest thing is like internet and then audio stuff. So I finally like invested in a good mic and that's helped out a lot. But yeah, I just, I, I always kind of hold you near and dear to my art, Maggie, because like you were the first one to come on and I felt like we had a great conversation. No pre-interview for that too. I think I just brought you on and we just started talking. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, you, you, do you want to know why I decided to go on your channel at that time? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, because I checked on your channel, it was pretty new channel. So I like something that is like privacy or like a small group of people. So it was like nice for me to be on a small group of people and uh, not a lot of people around because I don't like to be outstanding. So that that's why I decided to go on your channel that time. Yeah, that well, that's great. So I was a small channel. It's easy. Yeah. Were you, <laughs> were you concerned? I'd ask any hard questions. Were you a little concerned? Like, what's he going to ask me? No, I never mind what people ask about me or uh, whatever question people would ask because I am confident that I would be able to deal with all the situations. So <laughs> whatever yeah. happened, I will be okay. Yeah. And I think so you were helpful in me editing a lot of my recorded videos on the Richard Returns of Thailand series. I kind of <laughs> miss those days, Maggie, like when we used to pass videos back and forth, you'd, you'd kind of give me some critiques and stuff like that. But I haven't done any like those for a while. So maybe get back to soon. Uh, yeah, just because I say like, oh, stop sending me videos, you know, it's good. Just publish it. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I was so new and I was so scared to like put something up. You know, I wanted to make sure that it was good. But then Meg's after a while, she's like, enough with these videos. <laughs> like, enough, enough. Because there is no surprise for me anymore because I will be one seeing the video first. And then there is no surprise anymore. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. I appreciate all that help because it got me going early on. So I appreciate that. Uh -huh. So so listen, let's do this. I actually have some more guests that want to come in. So I thought this might be a good time to transition and bring in Chuck and Chocolate Man in Thailand. So let's do mm -hmm. this. Let's bring him in. Here we go. We got Chuck and we got James. What's up, guys? Now I got something over my face. Hello, so hang hello. On. I can take care of that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, congratulations on staying alive and staying awake Thank for the you. show. Good Cheers. job. Good job. This is pretty late for Chuck now. Really late. <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty zombied out right now. I had a rough day. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is like right in James's wheelhouse. He's like, so how long are we going, Richard? We're going to go about like seven hours today. How long? Seven, eight <laughs> hours. I can, I'm, I'm here all night. What's up? I got charged batteries. I got light. I'm, I'm ready. Somebody, uh, told on, me, somebody told me once, I'm going to get on your live stream as soon as James is finished with his. I was like, I don't think James finishes a live stream. I think it's live all the time, right? <laughs> I think oh, James good. is doing like Maggie? his niche. <laughs> <laughs> doing good, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, I think James has found his niche. Now he has his own little uh, microphone. Now he's more know, comfortable, it's, professional it looks like looking. Really professional, really professional. Awesome. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, maybe have like a side channel, a singing chi side channel. <laughs> Hey, what'd you guys think of my uh, opening of the champagne today? Did you do a good job? That wimp out with the towel? I, I was good idea. Gonna, I was hoping it was going to take out the camera, but, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm evil like that. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about it ahead of time. Like, so which way should I point it where the least valuable equipment is? It's like off to the right, my right. <laughs> then I was so scared it was going to, you know, break some lights or something like that. So, yeah. So, guys, I want to just say cheers to all of you for coming on. You know, I had to chase Chuck for a long time to have him come on. James, thank you for coming on as well. Been chasing you for a while. Appreciate all that you guys done to support the channel. I think they call that stalking, but hey, no worries, man. We appreciate it. Yeah. No, I think when my stalking with Chuck, that could be considered stalking. I was uh, like on him, on the messenger. <laughs> he was so nice, though. He's always so polite. Listen, not a good time. I don't do that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, and it's funny, Chuck, the funny story I have for you on when you came in is actually my internet router crashed right before you came on. So I was freaked out that I would not have a show at all. And I had a big guest coming on 
and I was able to reboot the router and get it going with you know seconds to go. And I don't know if you noticed that, but I was definitely all sweated out. I was pitted out, nervous. <laughs> it was so nice to have no, you come I on. I didn't see that. You you did it. It was cool, man. You <laughs> did it like a pro, like a pro. I noticed you got a little bit more gray here, though, after 50 videos, man. <laughs> I know. It's like the president before and after Laufus, right? Like after well, 50 you shows, know, more gray. When I first started, I did have hair. So after about 1,000, you're just going to have to cut that crap off, you know? <laughs> I could just do like the foreigner Joe hat thing, you know, just start wearing a hat everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess yeah. if, if, you know, foreigner Joe, I'd love to have him on the show, but I know he's busy with all of his home remodeling his yeah. building stuff. But I guess the question I would have for Joe is a funny question is, I wonder if he wears a shower cap in the shower. Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask Gif. <laughs> no, we have to ask Gif. Gif would have the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because she posted a funny picture on Facebook of actually Joe without his hat on in the morning. She said, this is like the 15 minutes I get to see Joe without his hat on it. Actually, has a pretty full head of hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's just his style. It's his style. Chuck, where do you think you're going to be traveling to next time, man, when things kind of open up again? You think you're going to go down to the south of Thailand again? Uh, yeah, we have plans to go to Phuket next. So that's our, we're going to, we're going to uh, probably make about a four week adventure and uh, probably going to have a group of people come with us. And uh, I don't know, that's the plan. When, I, I don't know. We want, we want, we want things to kind of, I don't know, you know, nothing's really open right now. So it's kind of dull. So uh, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait. Hopefully, Hopefully, uh, in the next month or two, we'll be able to, to make a big trip. But we're doing an Isan tour, trying to make the best of it, right? So, uh, ah. yeah, Chocolate Man's definitely coming with us for sure. So. <laughs> Maggie, you can come with us, too. <laughs> sure. Now, now, Chuck, have you, have you met Maggie in person? Has she kind of come by your I place? Have, no, I have not. No. Uh, Chuck is living in uh, Nakhon Phnom, right? Nakhon Phnom, yeah. Mm, maybe it, it maybe it will be my next step. <laughs> yeah, we're in uh, Tapanom. Tapanom. I'm, I'm uh, Tapanom. Nice. Well, they got a question there for you and James. There, Chuck and Chocolate Man. When is the next weight loss challenge? I'm on Chuck, it right so you now. In, what uh, you came in broken and, and stupid. What what was that again? I can't hear. It. When I'm is not the seeing next anything weight? on it. Can you check the video, Richard? I don't see anything on oh, my screen. Perfect. I don't know what's up. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> They stay Fox. Thank you for the 50 pounds for 50 shows. That is great. I love that. Perfect. Thank you awesome. for that. Nice Appreciate that, chat. man. That's awesome. They stay Fox. Such a great guy. Um, Thai girl gift and foreigner Joe. There they are. Hi, uh -oh. Richard and everyone. Hello. Hello. Stop talking about him now. <laughs> <laughs> man. I, so I feel like that weight loss challenge was not even close, man. I feel like Joe oh, kind of yeah. spanked you. Well, you know. We didn't know he was going to go manorexic five seconds after the start <laughs> of the challenge. I mean, geez. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to interview Gift and see what how she felt like he was during that whole challenge. Like, was he you, nice? You don't you know? Know. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. not a good... <laughs> He he thinks it Don't was challenging. It. He should have stayed living in this house with everybody trying to hand me food 24 hours a damn day. That's a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, well, he was doing all the workouts like where a lot of the gyms were closed. So I feel like that yeah. was a tough thing for him to do. But manorexic, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and then meanwhile, James is doing like these 10 kilometer walks, right? You were doing some walks and stuff outside as well. Yeah, and time. then enjoying a donut. So, you know, it all balanced out. <laughs> See, that's my biggest problem, like a weight loss challenge. Is if I amp up my exercise, I get too hungry. And then like it just all goes to waste, you know? I don't know how Maggie stays so slim. Maggie, do you eat a lot or you pretty much watch your portions? I don't know. It's maybe a sickness that however much I eat, I don't get more weight. <laughs> it's I a Thai thing. It's a Thai <laughs> thing. I'm pretty sure it's just it's natural. I don't, thing, think, so. I don't think she's sick. Yeah, it's a Thai <laughs> thing. Yeah, that's probably a good sickness to have. Maybe it's just good genetics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um Robert Max saying hello to Foreigner Joe and Gift. <clears throat> and let's see, in love with Thailand saying hi, guys. Great to be here. Thanks, Mr. Mitch, for putting up the link for Foreigner Joe. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Great. If, if nobody knows, Joe's building a house, so go check out his channel. I want, to, I want everybody to see his house. It's really cool. 
Check out yeah. the tile. The tile really kills me, though. I love the tile inside. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what an epic house that's going to be, right? I mean, I feel like you won't have to wear an air conditioning in that house at all. It's going to be so well insulated. Well, when I move into the other bedroom, I'm going to run the aircon like 24. And when I'm not even there, I'm going to have it on. So, you know, I already told Joe it's so I'm wrong. I don't think he's putting bunk beds in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder, like, that's a pretty big place. I wonder if he's going to have like East Wing or West Wing, you know, all different wings of the house because he's got a lot of, a lot of rooms in there. How many rooms does he have? Do you guys know? I think it's three. just two. Is it or two no, or three? it is three. Uh, three is three. I don't remember. Three. I think it's three, yeah. 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 Wow. It's a He'll lot, answer man. in the chat, I'm sure. <laughs> and Rise for Kick saying, nice Day State Fox, true legend. Awesome. And it's funny because all of you guys get like so many live viewers in your chat. I always wonder, like, how do you keep up? Especially you, Chuck, like you get like hundreds in your live streams. Is it difficult? To kind of get on top of, keep on top of all the comments? It's impossible, but thankfully I have people that can answer most of the questions that come in, and I, I try to encourage that because I, I know it's nothing worse than trying to ask somebody a question and you feel like you're, you're being neglected, right? And uh, it's difficult because sometimes you got six, 700 people at once not all chatting but it's it just it's just going too fast there's just no way and and I, and a lot of times you know the comments don't come up and you watch some of it later on and you see like oh man that was a really good question but uh i don't know i'm not yeah. really fast anyway so <laughs> i got to tell you like i totally agree because i'll watch the replays of my live shows and oftentimes there's like a great question or comment in there and i think oh i wish i would have seen that that's so yeah. great but like to your point it's hard to see them all you know, yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah. I Look, try to tell everybody in the chat, you know, just keep asking until I say something. You know, if it's really that important to you, just yeah. keep asking, <laughs> just over and over and over again. Just keep, you know, cut and paste, cut and paste until I see it. Because I do miss a lot of good comments. So it is what it is. Yeah, that's a trick, James. You just want to see more interaction on the live stream. Boost, boost up the, uh, the views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and cheap charlie chronicles in the house saying cheers to mitch and it's funny so you guys i found out one trick that you probably never knew about because your numbers are so much better than mine in that if i have a hundred viewers in the live chat my live chat gets approved like within minutes if it's under a hundred viewers in the live chat it can take like 20 hours for the video to get published and the live chat to become available so I found, I guess that's the magic number for YouTube. I don't know, Maggie, if you've seen that with yourself, like it takes a long time to publish and get the live chat. I see that as kind of normal for me. I didn't know that it will be faster with 100 viewers. Yeah, and it affects the views well too. Like I found those live shows I've done where I've had over 100, all of a sudden like the views are much better because the, you know, YouTube publishes it right away, that kind of stuff versus a day later. <laughs> Sucks, not good, not good. And Kevin Nori, Kevin Jing Nori was saying that his, the chat moves very quickly on your guys's. Um, and Ron John says, I don't talk much in real life, so I keep asking questions. Okay, that's great. Oh, <laughs> that's, Capio's that's in the not, house. That's not true. I know you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Carl's Thailand in the house there. I tried getting on one of BB's media chats, missed my own post. <laughs> Yeah, it could be tough, man. There's a lot to do with these live streams and you guys know about. I'm sure James and Chuck, you guys know there's like a little bit of stress going on behind the scenes trying to keep up with everything and uh, make sure you keep the signal strong, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I've been pretty lucky. I don't know. It's, internet's pretty good where we're at. I've been walking around with my cell phone. No, well, at least on my end, it's no problem. Maybe it sucks on everybody else. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be no issues. Yeah, you know, it's funny, Chuck, I was thinking about you recently because I've been doing a lot of vlogs, uh, day in the life vlogs down like in Fisherman's Wharf, Pier 39. And I know yeah. that you came out and visited San Francisco, I want to say yeah. almost like three years ago. Is it that long ago? Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe about three years. We did some video exactly where you were at. Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching those. I was thinking, man, if I go down there and try to meet him, like he's going to think I'm a stalker. I'll just remain a fan. <laughs> watch it from a distance because i didn't you know you didn't know me back then uh really quick we were we were at those big red oaks you know the giant i don't know i don't know the name of the park but we're like in the middle of nowhere in the forest you know and this guy's yelling chuck 
Chuck, Chuck, and he's coming out of the woods. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And it's this guy, hey, I watch your channel. You know, like, holy crap, I'm like on the other side of the planet, you know, or you're coming out of the woods. Like, anyway, it was funny. It was that's, funny. That's so great. Thank you, Tommy J, for uh, the $5. Appreciate that. Cheers to Richard and all my fellow mods. I appreciate that. And I had a little offline conversation with the mods before the show, thanking them for all that they do, because super critical. You have moderators helping out. I know you guys know that as well. But I wanted to thank you guys for coming on the live show today. You know, we're kind of keeping these short. I know Chuck's got to get to bed. Chuck, hey, thanks for staying up. Yeah. Man. Appreciate I'm it. I'm not even sure he's coming. awake right now. <laughs> I'm not. Awesome. I'm definitely not. Awesome. And hats off to you, Maggie, for being my first guest ever on the live show. Really appreciate all your support over the last uh, last year. I love it. <laughs> All I'm right, glad guys. I did. So thank you for inviting me here. You Have a good it. night. Good day, everyone. James, thank you for all the call-outs you do on your videos, man. You're awesome. I really appreciate each one, each time that you mention me. So I really appreciate that. Hey, no problem, great, Bob. I mean, great I job, it. man. You, uh, you're really putting it all together. I, I can't wait to see 100 more. Yeah. Are you going to continue to do this once you come to Thailand? That's the plan is the show will continue okay. on. Yeah. So I want to okay. try to pick a good time to where I can still do it in Thailand at the same time. So yeah, maybe oh, do it one time good. from your place, Chuck. <laughs> good, luck. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Good luck fitting in. I'll ask I hope, you, I hope you like saying so. Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good night, you guys. Talk, thanks for coming right. on. See ya. Right, bye. Peace. Awesome. Such great guests. Really appreciate that. Let me do some housekeeping here. And there we go. So now we got get there we go. Do that. Perfect. And we're making some room. Perfect, guys. So loving this. I love just kind of commiserating a little bit with the guests that have been on in the past. It's you know, without them, the channel would not have grown. The live show would not have really taken hold. So the next group that's coming up is going to be Nick and Martin, Rides for Kicks, and Day State Fox. We make sure we got everyone. Oh wow, we got everyone in the in the green room. Quite impressed with these people being very, so punctual. I'm gonna have another drink of my nice mimosa champagne here. Very nice. Ah, yep. That was definitely a good move. Sort of. <laughs> Maybe not so early in the morning. But hey, I wanted to play another uh, video tribute that I have from some of you may know, Big Fat Bestie. Good friend of mine. He's been on the show a couple times and we did one of the longer uh, live streams that I've done over the last year, and it was about two hours long where we were just cracking jokes and having such a great time. Uh, I really had a fun time with that with that particular live stream. So he recorded a, a tribute all the way from the UK. So we'll play that now, and when we come back, we'll have our next round of guests in the live show. The mighty, mighty swing ball. Hello, you. Hello, uh, Richard Travel. Richard, you've done an absolutely smashing job. Massive congratulations on 50 big vlogs. Your success is astounding, absolutely mega deserved as well. The work and effort that you put into each and every one of your live streams has paid dividends big time. 50, five, zero. Huge congratulations for myself, the Travel Walrus and Swing Ball. And uh, we're looking forward to the next 50 and maybe uh, one day I'll get out of my gas station and uh, we'll meet up for a beer in either San Fran, Las Vegas or even better, fabulous Thailand. Take care of yourselves, have a great uh, 50th show and uh, vlog on. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Looks like we got oh, Nick and Martin. Didn't didn't show up for this. Hang on. We'll remove them. Go back to a four up. <laughs> awesome. We got Lucas from Rides for Kicks. Got Day State Fox and Brian Flowers. Awesome. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Guys took it up like next level. Lucas, you're like, you have mood lighting and everything in the background. No, no, no. It's, that's, just, that's just every night at the condo here. Yeah, come on. Yeah, that's wow. how it is, man. That's, really that's how we roll. <laughs> man. And that condo was what, 1,000 baht per month? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> a little more than that. And Brian Flowers took it up like he's got the green screen game going on now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just same, only so same much of the wallpaper you can look at. I just thought <laughs> until I change it around towards the pool, I'll just leave it like this. <laughs> 
Bay State Fox, how's it going? Oh, good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Audio sounds yeah. good. Excellent. Where, where are you coming to us from? Is this the Day State Arms? The Day State oh, Arms. Oh, the Day State <laughs> Arms. Oh, this is nice. That's nice. I was telling Day State, like, be careful. The audio in the intro video, a lot of bass. So be ready for it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've got a um, pretty serious sound system in here. And uh, that, that, that was pretty loud. <laughs> pretty yeah. basic. So, Lucas, one, one uh, story I wanted to share is like, the first time you came on my show. So I was chasing you for a while. You're so nice. I didn't have to chase you too much. You're like, hey, listen, I'll come on. We'll talk about this and that, that kind of thing. You promoted right. the video on one of your videos before the live show. So that was great. I came in. Lucas, it was the first time before I even started. It was over 100 viewers in the live chat. I was like, well, this is going to be a serious one. <laughs> <laughs> and right as I saw that, I got kicked out of the live stream and lost my internet. And oh I was thinking, God. and you were just sitting there like in the green room, probably thinking like, so where's the host? I guess this well, happens. I, I guess they kind of go away. And I, I was oblivious to it. I was just trying to make it sure everything was right on my end. I, di I really didn't know you had any trouble. I thought it was something <laughs> on my end. <laughs> so funny. So like total like SOS mo mode. Like I had to reboot the router and reboot the computer and came in. There was 30 seconds to go for live. I literally came in, hit the intro, and then brought you on. You're like, hey, that was a great intro we had there. Soy Diamond back in the 80s. Sure. And I was thinking, you don't even know what I had to go through. <laughs> so, and I think I learned my lesson then, Lou. I said, like, I need to, like, up my internet speed and wire in. Wow. just got better. <laughs> well, hey, I think you have. I think you have. I mean, the show looks so much better than probably from the first time I was on. Uh, the second time I was on, I think you pretty much had a lot of things ironed out. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And I think the biggest thing for me is just getting an external microphone, right? That was like the biggest thing for me and professional headphones, yeah. that kind of stuff. It helps a lot. Yeah. I need one of those uh, swingy arm things that you got. See, I got to hold mine. Yeah, it's just a boom arm. You can get this off Lazada probably. Boom, boom arm, right? right yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That works out pretty. I know Brian Flowers and I were having a conversation about that earlier because uh, he has a new microphone setup that he's using. He's like, now, what, do you, what is that you're using there? And so we're going through the whole laundry list of equipment. Before the show. <laughs> yeah, my boom arm won't attach to the table, so I'm still just it's sat in free box at the moment. <laughs> it's probably because the table, those quartz and diamond tables are pretty <laughs> thick, right? When they gotta lay the diamonds in by hand. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, that like solid granite or like some kind of walnut wood would be very thick, probably. <laughs> it's just one of those old wooden thick desks and and the clamps about that big, so I'm going to have yeah. to get on your desk. Uh, and Day State, how are you enjoying your uh, Day State arms now? That's like a whole yeah, new thing for you. Yeah, good. I think I sent you a picture of like before and after when it was a tool shed with uh, <laughs> stones, wow. rafters, and cobwebs and bugs. And, you know, all of that's gone now. It's probably the nicest room I've got, and it's in the garden. It's showing up <laughs> the rest of the house. I'll have yeah. to start on that too. <laughs> Where's the dog? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm looking yeah. up here because I've got a big screen up there and I can see all the comments and stuff <laughs> easily. Yeah. It's so That's funny, really they State, because when, we, when you came on, it was like this big reveal we wanted to have because at that time, no one really had seen you much. I know the local vlogging community had been who you were, um, but we wanted to have like a big reveal. So we had this video that Day State helped me do, had some pictures. I, I kind of blurred out the face and stuff. And at the end, we showed your face and then came on and no audio. Oh, right. yeah. You had like the mask on, the hat on, we're like, oh, you're... and no audio. So it took you a couple minutes, but we figured it out, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's why I said to you, can you hear me this time straight away? It, this okay. little earbud seemed to lock onto something else in the house. And that's he's a louder. Of he's louder for me than everybody else. Wow. Yeah. How about now? Hello. Okay, okay there you go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I can practice my Lucas voice. <laughs> I thought I think I don't know if you saw like one of my live streams. I actually signed off with the bye for now. I was thinking you might leave a comment like, hey, that's my that's my tagline. Oh, I never got the royalty <laughs> check for that one. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a copyright claim from you though. Thanks for that, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So Brian, how are things going for you there, man? I'm seeing a lot of like your Facebook posts and things that are going on in Pattaya. It's a rough time, but are you keeping your chin up? Yeah, there's a few savages out here destroying people's lives at the moment, but um, we're over the worst. I don't think you can get any worse. I think um, 
maybe in one to three weeks we should open again, hopefully. Yeah. Do you think that's going to happen, July 1? That'd I think be that's cool. Like Please keep telling us very, very soon. And, and they, keep, they kept on saying the 1st of July, but there was 380 COVID cases in Chambury today and about 100 odd in Bataya. So it's go, gone up significantly. So I, I don't know. It might be in two weeks. Who are Hins rumored to open on the 15th of July as well? Yeah. What are you hearing, Lucas? Are you hearing the same kind of thing? I, I just hear whatever whatever Brian says. I, I I don't know. I'm not privy to any of this. You know, he's got all the inside information because he's a a a, a bar owner and, and you know, well a multiple bar owner. But and he's in different groups. I I don't get anything. I'm too busy doing videos and just uh, riding around and you know enjoying myself. But I wanted to tell you, Richard. I don't want to interrupt your flow here, but you know you did 50 shows, so congrats for that. And I know you're taking a little bit of a hiatus, which you deserve, but get your head, get your thoughts together. And one, well, I'd say for you, one evening or night for you, maybe morning time for me, hit me up and we'll do a, uh, maybe a Facebook messenger or something. I got some, some things I'd like to share with you, maybe some steps about going forward, just some opinions on how you can get more views, how you can grow the channel more, and maybe just some food for thought for you. Um, so on your hiatus, do that one day, you know, uh, in, in the nighttime for you. I don't know how many hours we are apart, but it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, so I'll definitely take advantage of that. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Cause I will have some time off or I'm going to kind of do things like reset the channel and the show. You know, I put a lot of time and effort into each of these videos, yeah. the intros and outros, mainly because I love doing videos. Like, you know how it is, Lucas, like editing is fun for a lot of people, but I think it's not scalable. I need to think about like, let's just have a standardized intro and outro, something that maybe go. can be repeatable. So I'm not putting in 10 to 15 hours each week. So yeah, I'll definitely take advantage of that for you. I do want to run something by you now though, because I am thinking about new channel names, maybe looking about changing a name. So the one of the names I have is Rides for Rich. Rides for Rich, huh? Ah, yeah. it's pretty catchy, right? Yeah, up. Pretty like catchy. they say here, Rich, uh, Richard, it's up to you. Okay. But uh, for, for myself, I wouldn't change a channel name. I think your channel name is fine. You have the little the logo. You have your branding. That's a hard thing to establish. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, but your branding is very, very important. So, and your channel name goes along with that. It goes into the into search results and all kinds of sorts. So um, I, w I wouldn't change it. But I know you're, uh, I know you're a little uh, tongue-in-cheek here. Yeah, it's funny because so we were talking about times of the show, too. And Dace, I had all the moderators in on this. I think even Brian Flowers was in on this. Like, let's look at times. We had all the different time yeah. zones, Australia, the UK, Thailand. And you guys know, like, you can't win on this. Like, there's no way to win all those time zones. But it's so funny. Day State came back. Like, we had a ton of messages going back. And finally, the end message was, yeah, how about uh, 7 a.m., which is one hour earlier than this show? <laughs> I'm like, it's the same time, man. We did all this and came back to the same time. Wow. So I kind of feel like the same thing applies with the channel name, too. Like, we're thinking about all these different channel names, and it may just stay the same. So I'd love to know like what people think in the chat about all that. Because to your point, Lucas, it's kind of a known thing. People are slowly being able to say Richard Travel, although I still think Nick and Martin say Richard Travels or something. But that's okay. Professional courtesy will allow it. <laughs> I think they say um, uh, Cliff Richard's Travels. Yeah. And I don't know who that guy is. Is that like a, <laughs> is that like a UK guy? I, Cliff I saw... Richards? You don't know who Cliff Richards is? No, you look no. a little bit like him anyway. Well, the only Cliff I know is the guy from Cheers named Cliff, the mailman. Oh, I'm big hopeful. in the 80s. Big back like the late 80s maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I was alive then. I'm very, very young, Lucas. Just hit 27. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And let's see. I think we had a guest come in here. I wanted to profile. And that might have been, well, first of all, say hello to Brian Baldy Family Adventures, who actually Brian Flowers turned me on to. And look at me just like covering up Brian Flowers. Yeah, that's it, Brian. You're covered with a comment. I have to stand up straight. <laughs> no, ra raise your head up, Brian. You'll be fine. <laughs> stand up, Brian. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You you go. your Do you get a T-shirt made every week for your show? So great question. So I actually have at least three or four shirts to choose from because some of the ones that I love in my head that are going to look great, their writing is too low, so they won't fit on the screen. But yeah, it's a new t-shirt every week. And it's something I kind of fell into. And 
to Lucas's point about talking later, I'd like to talk to you about that because I feel like I kind of fell into a mess here with the t-shirts. I'd like <laughs> to kind of get out of that. So it's a lot of t-shirts, Lucas. I got like 50 of these t-shirts. That's an easy one. Just go with one and stick to that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Brian, just send me some of your t-shirts, man, with the Fight Club. And I'll wear those. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> so, I like yes. Brian's new ones. He's got new ones. I saw him wearing one the other day on his show uh, with the graphic on the front. I like that one. Yeah. Is cool that like one, the white yeah. colored shirt? Like no, it was black. It, it was black, but it had like more stuff on the front. Ah, gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, you guys, I wanted to say thank you for coming on the show today. And then, Lucas, thank you for coming on twice like you did before. You know, the condo reveal still, like, has the record amount of numbers for views and likes. Look at that. It also holds the record for the most dislikes, Lucas. So you should be ashamed of yourself at uh, 20 dislikes. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I think we got 1,000 likes. So awesome. But thank you for promoting the, the live stream because that was, that was inspiring for me to see all the numbers coming in. My pleasure. My pleasure. And Brian, thank you for all your support, man. I know you shout me out a lot on your live streams that you do and the recorded videos, so thank you. And we're going to try to calendar that interview at some point so we can put people to sleep with an interview of me. <laughs> Chad's online. Shall I, send him your, shall I send him the link? Yeah. I don't know if I can afford to have him on, though. <laughs> <laughs> a little inside joke there. And Daystate Fox, thank you, man, for being just an awesome moderator and awesome friend. Like, I really feel like you and I share a lot of private conversations. I appreciate your counsel very much. No problem. It's been a pleasure. And congratulations again for 50 shows. All right. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Great. All right, guys. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. There we go. Remove them all. Takes a little bit of time to remove all these guests. <laughs> Love that. So just like huge supporters of the channel, like Lucas is a sounding board. He responds to all of my messages and this kind of thing. And I just love that. So really appreciate that. Let me do a little check here on Nick and Martin. Let me just exit this out. Got to do some housekeeping on the guest side, make sure everyone can fit in here. Yeah. What, 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 what the hell? Come on, man. Hey, what's going hey, on? <laughs> Oh, what happened there? We've been man. down. We were, we've been we, down. we were basically we're, showing we're, you a view of live in Pattaya, and you thought we weren't there. Ah, I thought you weren't there. Yeah, I thought you were like that. Oh, oh, man. See you later. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding me. There you go, guys. There's a live view. <laughs> wow. And see, your shirt, Martin, would have matched well with uh, Lucas's shirt. Yeah, these they, they, them two of uh, we never of even we never even consulted that we were going to do it together. So yeah, we'd have been there. Did look as I on? I didn't. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's green, he's green shot on. Yes, <laughs> happy birthday, yes. Show. happy birthday, yeah, Thank you, guys. Well done, sir. Well done. I thank wondered, you. I was when I was looking at your fifty. I was looking. I was wondering how many we've done, like twice per week. Ooh. So we probably about eighty. I don't know. We, we didn't. We haven't done every week. Small bit us tonight. Next. No, 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 not a bit us. <laughs> well, maybe we're close to one hundred. Ooh, well, I, I think if you did your, if you check, if you count only your TFI shows, I think you've done about 30 of those, but then yeah, you're doing yeah. the boots on the ground as well. So I think that probably doubles that number, but yeah, you know, it's funny. The funny slash serious story I could share for you guys with our kind of collaboration is when I first started doing the live shows, it was about the same time when you were kicking off the TFI show. So yeah, I'm not sure not. if you, if you heard this kind of like garbage going on but it was like oh they're going to compete with you and you got to pick a different time you can't do that kind of show and i was thinking the whole time like man raising tide raises all ships like we could all compete together so it was so important for me to get you on the show to i was like listen we can all work together we're not like enemies like we're just doing similar shows yeah that's the same with with everybody um, i i work with literally every vlogger i mean i work with, I work with lucas as in when i'm gonna uh, release a video and I know exactly when he releases his videos now, so I don't release them at the same time. So I don't, I don't want to clash. It's the same with like Phil, the pub, um, and other live streamers. Everybody just does their own time slot, and we don't we try not to compete with each other. Mm. Yeah, and I felt like for me, Saturday morning, my time ended up being a good time for Thailand, good for the UK, but not so good for Australia. You know, it's tough to be at a good time for everyone. But yeah, I think it's it was so great for me having you on, Nick, because people hold you in such high respect in the Thai oh, vlogging community. Really, so I really, felt like really, it was sort of like you. a we, vote we of confidence. Thank you. 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 <laughs> yeah, and I Thank think you. I mean that, that was I was going to say the first time I came on. I think 
it, it's normally very – I was speaking about this to somebody the other day. It's normally – your ta- your time slot is normally quite difficult for me with working like in the bar scene, um, and particularly on a, on a Saturday night. Uh, and I think that's what happened the first time I came on, and I had no volume. I've got a new phone now, by the way, but I had no volume, uh, and I couldn't hear. And you, you had to, to, to type in the chat – um, to me, a bit of my questions to yeah, me. Let's, let's see how long it is before Nick Dean breaks his phone again. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that for two and a half years. I think. Oh, yeah, well, the one, yeah, yeah. It was like you've been nursing it for the last six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a big, big line, a big streak I, through I, the screen. Yeah, what it was is the other day, I, I the, my phone kept falling apart. And every time I pulled it out of my pocket, there was a bit of glass in there. I was like, damn it. And then and the other night, something happened with my phone. And the, um, I couldn't, when I went for charge it, it, it just kept falling out. And I got thirty percent left in my battery, mm-hmm. so I had to kind of exchange everything, buy a phone, exchange everything over. Uh, but I lost quite a bit. But um, I can, I can gather, get it again. Yeah, yeah. We thought you were actually going to just forget all about us tonight, Richard, when you brought everybody else in, and we thought <laughs> our little joke had like went right over your head. So um, we're, we're, we're thankful that you you squeeze us into the show. You're over running now, aren't you? You're over running now, aren't you? Admit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about no, that. No, no. I still what? got. I got buffer. I got buffer. Well, maybe not. Oh, okay, <laughs> but I've buffered. Just, I got some buffering. I'm just wondering how the how the lighting is there because on our monitor we're we're quite bright, but it doesn't seem to be on the on the computer. It doesn't seem no, to. be I that think bright. we're okay. I think we're all right. I think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Guys, so, yeah, we've got key we, lights, man. You got a professional up there a little well, bit. Well, we we've got the back lights, the kicker lights, we've got the key lights, the foul lights, you know. Yeah, yeah. None of that's none of that's rubbish with us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took us two <laughs> hours to set that rubbish up. <laughs> yeah, the only thing we have. I sorry, the only thing we haven't got is Martin left the um the splitter for the for the headphones yeah, in, the, one in the bar. So we've got one headphone between us. But we should point oh, out nice. can I tell, let me tell you a funny story, Richard, right? True story. So Nick came down um to uh let me into the building tonight, right? And he forgot his key card for the elevator. Because yeah, he, he, and, he's and, in we, the we, now, and we couldn't get up into the condo. So we thought actually we were going to be doing the live stream from the foyer of the building. So thankfully, um, the uh, the kind of concierge decided to let us in. So yeah, we were that close to not making yeah, it. Yeah, very close. And, and that was uh, um, Martin's fault because he fault. came he came off an hour early, and I was on the phone and I was I rushed out. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't not- want it. I didn't want to let Richard down. I was going to make sure that we had all the gear set up and, you know, everything was um, was spot on for the show. Big 50th. It's a big yeah. show, mate. It's a big show. Yeah, it's a big show. It's It's been great. I feel like I've had 49 practices for this 50th show. So I wasn't feeling too nervous before the time came up, which is great. And having great guests, having great guests, you on here, you know, so it's definitely appreciated. How, how, how's your head, Richard? Are you, is, that, is that champagne going to you? Yeah, I'm pretty drunk right see. now, just so you know. So pretty drunk. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll have some more too, Champ- by the way. Champagne goes straight to your head. Well, we're looking forward to you coming back to Patia, Richard, so that we can have this well-needed um, little drink in LK Metro. And uh, we guarantee a decent bar crawl with the three of us. We'll show <laughs> you the ropes, mate. We'll show you Patia that you've never seen before. Oh, okay. The secret areas. <laughs> yeah, Secret so areas, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so funny... Uh, Nick, because when we first did our live show together, a little interview, you you took me around the bar. I think I bought a round of drinks for the bar, rang the bell. You did actually, yeah, yeah. And then the bell, behind yeah. the scenes was like Lucas. And you said like, yes. hey, I'm talking to Richard Travel. Oh, that's that travel guy. Yeah, I think I've heard of him. And in my <laughs> head, I was thinking, I'm going to get that guy too. So I, I think I used yeah. you to kind of get to him and kind of network oh, no out. Problem. Yeah, no and I problem. found like it, it became easier for me using my network to get guests on versus just trying to go it alone. So I kind of learned the yeah. hard way. Yeah, I mean, myself, Lucas, and a few others were, were all were all very good friends. We've been. I mean, I I don't know if you if you got that that video if you managed to do something, but Lucas appeared in one of my. He's appeared in a few of my videos even before he started vlogging. So I've known Lucas for for quite a while. Yeah, and that was awesome. You shared that with me. So that might be coming soon for a dance video. <laughs> And I might need I might need Martin's help on that. Like that's going to take a lot of technical ec- expertise to clean up the video, do a little loop, run it back. Oh, that can help you. I, I, can I actually them. might have a um, you know, I think I've got the original. Well, I have got the original copy somewhere where there might be extra footage in it because I've okay. obviously cut that cut that bit off. Yeah. Well, I, I I was just a bit lazy to look for it the other day. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm let, not, I'm not as file management as Martin. Martin has everything. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm 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 a, I'm a kind of video geek. I must admit that's um. He's good at losing cables, though. I'm, I'm good at well because I've got so many cables. That's what it's a problem, <laughs> you know. So we look forward to um 
But, but I was saying, Richard, that when you come over to Patia, you can definitely use the, D, the Day State Studio. Yes. Day State Fox Studio. I'm sure you um, Day State will be fine with that. And um, you've got all the uh, you've got all the equipment, the gear there. You know, you can do your live streaming and just continue. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you'll you and you'll have we we can be your little workers. We'll get yeah. Dan Dan, the cameraman. He can help you, and you know I'll do all the bits and pieces behind the scene. And yeah, oh, I that's look great. To it. You know, yeah. that actually means a lot because I'm often start, starting to think about what kind of stuff I have to pack to bring over next time. There's more equipment now. But you if you're need talking it. about that, need you won't need it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You, you just, just your great. laptop. Just yeah. your laptop with oh, your, your YouTube great. account. Yeah, that's you perfect. can just, just borrow everything off Day State. <laughs> the, the Day State gear. <laughs> <clears throat> I appreciate that. So sorry I missed you guys. I didn't see you you were making a joke there with the background, but I'm glad I had you on now. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, where are these guys, you know? Uh, <laughs> See, the joke did not work too well, right? You almost got excluded from the whole show. Oh, uh, so. yeah, we nearly we didn't make we actually thought you would love a little view of Tree Town because you know we can see it's um all right, there's a there's been a few raids now and then, but uh, you know, <laughs> Patty is still looking beautiful, it's still looking uh, nice. And let me tell you, this is gonna be the next big place in Patia. That's gonna be the new I think the new walking street. That's what I think. Tree Town. Yeah, well, I think uh, okay Metro is that one, but um I've always said though, I mean Tree Town will work, but um, it's still the jury is still out, yeah. The jury is still, the yeah. still out. We, we don't know what's going on here, you know. We don't know, like Brian mentioned earlier. We, we you know, there's 380 cases today in uh, in Chambry, but 100 cases in Patea. I, I looked at something last week and there was like five cases, seven cases. I don't understand that. It's just gone woof, straight up. So we're, it's not looking good for us at the moment, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't go on this subject. We can talk yeah. for hours about this. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's just wish you all the best, Richard. And yeah, um, we that. hope that you, uh, you you come back soon. We know you're going to have a little break, and uh, maybe you can start thinking about who you haven't had on the show and who you'd have to who you'd who you wish you could have get on the show because there must be quite a few more names that you can add yeah. that maybe um, you've not been able to twist their arm yet. And uh, I'm sure they'll uh, they want to come on now. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'll definitely maybe share that list with you as well. So, yeah, that sounds great. Of course. No. Thanks for all you guys have done to support my live show. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for coming on today. Awesome. Welcome. You're right, absolutely guys. welcome. You. We salute you. Yeah, we salute you. Thank you very much, Richard. Take all care, right. mate. Okay. Bye. Awesome. Yes, had them on. I'm so worried that we might have some technical glitches there, and they were just trying to play a joke. So funny. Everyone's a comedian these days. But check it out. Got a new round of guests coming on. I see him in the green room. Got Flora and Note, two passports, one dream. Chev and Dev. Chev and Dev is dancing right now. I think they're dancing not because of the show, because it's Formula One weekend again. Yes, another Formula One weekend. Woo! We're going to talk about that all show now. But uh, before I do that, I have a cool little uh, uh, tribute that Flora and Note recorded for me. So I wanted to play that. And then we'll magically bring them into the green room when that's done playing. Wow, Richard, it's your 50th show. Thank you so show. much for your Thank hard you work so much and for bringing the Thai vlogging community closer together one, together, live, show one at a live show at a time. Congratulations. 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 Hello, everyone. Yay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, so who was the one that was playing it on their stereo right there, their laptop? I totally had like the echo going on. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Not guilty. Oh, I think awesome. two passport is on mute. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. They're frozen like this. Oh dear. Maybe they're recording a dance video. Maybe that's yeah, the dance the video. Train. Let me try bringing them out and bringing them back in. See if that helps. We've lost them. <laughs> But to their defense, I think they were going to have spotty internet, and they were really concerned. I'm like, just try to work through it, see what you can do. So they're on the train to Bangkok, actually. Is they're that an overnight train? Maybe they're going through a tunnel right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was so excited to have you guys all on together too, because I know you're all friends offline as well. Well, we will have to do this without them. Yeah, they'll come <laughs> back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll miss we them. Oh, great! We'll hey, guys, the we got tea. Oh, <laughs> You guys have got yeah. it. Come on. Yeah. Congratulations, Richard. Thank you. Hey, I really appreciated that uh, that tribute there, Flora, because you said something that really resonated for me, and it was bringing the YouTube community together one live show at a time, and it's it's really the truth. It's what I try to do with each live show. Like, I will try to bring the community together, promote other vloggers, make a difference, right? I mean, there's so much doom and gloom going around. It's nice to have someone that's trying to make people smile and joke around a bit. <laughs> At least that's what I hope to do. 
No, you I do. think that's like, yeah, you definitely, you're, you've been doing that for all the shows and you can tell that there's more people joining your shows and getting to know each other and chatting in the live chat. Like, yeah, you're definitely bringing people together and we appreciate you for doing that so much. <laughs> yeah. And then Chef and Deb, like their channel is just like psh, taken off now. Oh, no uh, ways. Can, can <laughs> Flora we can, Notes. We're chasing we're like, Flora and Notes yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's not so, a competition here, guys. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> but we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you guys start your channel like around the same time or is it like different times? We yes, started last know. year in June. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah. we just hit yeah. one year. Yeah, relatively the same time. We were May sure. or June as well. Yeah, which is really cool. You guys are really soaring through. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It took us um, a, quite a few months before we got traction. Like the first time we are on Richard's show, we were at 1K. Yeah. Was yeah. it not even, we were not even at 1K. No, no, we were, we were a little bit over 1K. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's and after, well done, after we guys. came on the show, we just... Yeah. Yeah. It's all Richard. It's all Richard. <laughs> it's about normal. That's about normal. <laughs> it happens. Uh, you know, you tend to take off we after you come like on my show. Passwords. We're like two passwords, one dream, come, come on the show. And then, yeah. and then <laughs> she, they right. came on the show and they took off as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, like the video quality is just great, especially like Chef and Dev, like you put so much time and effort into the video quality and like the pans and the zooms. I think that's why your channel is gaining traction now, right? Just audiences are liking it. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's really sweet. We're just enjoying making videos and I think we're in the perfect place to be making them. <laughs> oh, I think we might have two passports. One, No, that's Thailand Rob. Thailand Rob. Oh. <laughs> Thailand Rob does not look like Two Passports One Dream too much. A little different look. I oh. hope they get hopefully they get back on Two Passports. It, I was oh, a little I'm... late, so I think that they might have been good earlier and then they probably went through a tunnel or something. Right. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. But now Chev and Dev, where are you subscriber wise? Because I know you were taken off. You hit thousand, then you hit two thousand. Yeah, we're on like 2,200 now. now. Yeah. Wow, so, that's great. It's uh, it's consistent. <laughs> Yeah, and I think so. Everyone knows like the subscriber metric is kind of vanity metric. Like that's what people ask you when they meet you, ask about yeah. the channel. Well, how many subscribers do you have? But it's really all about the views, man. Like show me the money, right? Uh, and I noticed like both of your channels, like the views have picked up across all the videos. Um, have you noticed that yourself? Was there a huge uptick in like, well, all my videos are getting rewatched? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Just when like we started to get over like the 2000 subscriber mark, then we felt like, wow, all our videos are getting views that they never got before, which is quite amazing. Yeah. And are you, do you find that gets a challenge for you to keep the videos coming because of all the restrictions that are all in most of the provinces or not, not a hard time for you? Yeah. <laughs> we found that in Chiang Mai, there were a lot of restrictions and we felt limited. So we've actually, we're not in Chiang Mai at the moment. Yeah, so we're somewhere different. We're in a hidden <laughs> hidden place at the You'll moment. You'll have to watch our video tonight to find I out. I think you guys are. are in Chiang Rai. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, really? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch us on Instagram, then you know. <laughs> yes, that's why. Yeah. No, I I didn't I didn't see it. Really, Floyd, I Floyd see... checks the Instagram. I yeah, I that saw, was a wild guess. I saw like a clock tower. That's my guess. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. We we might be there. We might not. You'll have to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's many clock towers in Thailand. But that, yeah. that's why you need <laughs> to. Uh, that's why you need to follow all of us on Instagram too, because right. then you'll know the behind the scenes where everyone is. <laughs> exactly. You gotta follow behind the scenes on Instagram. <laughs> that was that was smooth. You had to just yeah. like, just, like just Instagram that in there. In there. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> now, so how tough was it for you, Flora No, to rebrand? Because you changed the whole channel name from when she's Wonder Flow yeah. to Flora No. Is that difficult for you? The funny thing is we actually got everything in place to do it. Like Note already did the logo. We already had like the name and everything. It was the clicking the button. On YouTube, I would say like that took us a couple of weeks to feel okay to do. <laughs> Somehow it just like felt like a big deal to <laughs> yeah. change it when like we were we're not that big of a channel and we have a lot of potential to grow still. So it, it's supposed to be like a good change, but just when you click that official button 
on right. on YouTube, something just seems like too so I serious. Have, <laughs> I, I hate to interrupt a conversation. I'm just not a good host, but I got breaking news. <laughs> okay, okay. Live, live, live from a train Thailand, somewhere yeah. in Thailand. Yeah. 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 Get connection what? all the way up until until we connect. It cut out. Right oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh no. Well, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad Thank you guys you. can make it. So great. Yeah, happy to be here. Yes. We've got 4G right now, so it should be okay. <laughs> Deb and Deb and Flora, no, can you hear them? Okay. Yeah. 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 Great. Salute. Uh, cheers, guys. Salute. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Nothing yeah. to drink. Yeah. So, so are you like in, are you in a train, kind of like in a little cargo area? Yeah, oh, yeah wow. so this is, we're actually in Dylan's bed right now. So this is where he's sleeping and I'm sleeping just below this one. Got private cabin. No, so. yeah. Got to keep a it, you know, family cabin. friendly or wow. family friendly <laughs> <Of> content. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And now where are you headed? Where we're do you heading to say? Bangkok. Keep yeah, Bangkok. yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. And how long of a trip is that for you? 13 hours? Yeah, 13 hours and 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah, we're about wow. five hours in now. Yeah, Oof. it's going to be a long night. Wow. Chef and Deb and Flora, no, have you taken a trip like that before on train? <laughs> no. Not yeah. that long. We, Not uh, yet. <laughs> we did it last year. Yeah, we took the train from we Chiang did, Mai to We didn't Bangkok. have a good experience. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, we didn't book a private cabin. We just sat outside, you know, the north. Well, it's like a still really nice seating. But they took away my wine. Oh, no. <laughs> they say no drinking, so I was like, oh, okay. And then they're like, you can drink Heineken Zero. So we're like, okay, we're just gonna sleep. <laughs> and, then when, and it was quite loud. Yeah, it was quite loud. It was quite loud, and I mean, the, it was uh, an experience. The first two hours, though, first two hours, we were like, wow, this is so cool. And then we're like, oh, there's like eleven hours left. <laughs> he wears off after a while. Yeah. <laughs> but, but back then we didn't have a YouTube channel. We would go again because everything is so much more fun when you have a YouTube channel. That's now. true. Yeah. 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 Passing up and down the yeah. aisle and seeing what other people are doing. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys often think that like, oh, we could just hang out today or we could go and do this and then have a vlog from it. Do you oftentimes think about that, playing your day around vlogs? Yeah, absolutely. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's if we've got videos already, you know, in the back. Yeah, sometimes we like just putting the camera at home and just enjoying what we want to do and just like not having to, you know, have the pressure of like, oh, you know, we, yeah. we got to film this, we got to capture this. So it's quite nice to just explore sometimes without it. But it's nice bringing the camera and just. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like if there's a group here that has not met each other. I think, Chev and Dev, have you not met for a note in person? Yeah. yeah. We haven't met them yet. yet. <laughs> All right. But we will soon. <laughs> Make them. Networking here on my show. See, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys gonna? Are you guys moving as well from Chiang Mai? We're um, thinking about we yeah. might we might come a little bit more south soon. Yeah, soon. <laughs> and your biggest yeah. competition to pass the Pun Dream is leaving Chiang Mai, so it's all yours now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all ours. But our friends are leaving. We're so we sad. We miss them. I know. We miss you guys already. No more no <laughs> come back <laughs> and so two passports how is your channel doing because i know you've seen some increase in growth how's it doing in general yeah it's, it's nice to see that it's sort of slowly gaining a little bit of traction and yeah. it's just really nice getting really lovely comments from everyone and just having the feedback that we're doing kind of like the right thing and people are enjoying it yeah, i think really that's nice. worth a lot yeah yeah keeps us going yeah <laughs> have you received any comments to uh collaborate with the guy named richard travel at all <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of him. Uh, don't, 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 do do it. He's yeah, a don't, don't do it. Yeah. See, that's the channel name. <laughs> no reflection on my videos. That's the channel name. So I don't know. I don't know. One passport, one dream. Is that good? <laughs> no? no. One passport, two dreams. Yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll partner up with Note. Richard and Note. Oh, okay. Richard and Note. Oh, good one. Richard, <laughs> Richard and Richard. <laughs> Yeah, I don't no. I get much traction. We got two passports, <laughs> one Richard. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, that might work. That might work. How about oh, Richard? Why, and Richard. <laughs> why does Richard have two passports? Huh? Yeah, that's controversial right there. A little controversial. 
Don't ask too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming on my show. I really appreciate having you on this time and before as well. So it's just a blast to see your continued success. And I think like sky's the limit for your your channel and your videos. Thank you oh, for having thank us. Thank you so much, Richard. Oh, congrats. All right. Congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a good hopefully rest of your we'll day. See you, hopefully we'll see you in Thailand someday. Yes. 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 Soon. Yeah, yeah, very soon. As soon as I can get out there, I will. All right. <laughs> Thanks again, you guys. Right. Congratulations. Yeah. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Technical mistake there. Okay. Hang on. Guys, clean up the area. I think I'm doing pretty well, though. I think Chev and Dev will take care of themselves. That's good. All right. Perfect. We're getting, look, still looking for Mr. Egg. Mr. Egg is absent. Let me just see if he might have messaged me on Messenger. And we're good for our next round. Everyone having a good time? This fun? A little stressful for me, but I'm making my way through it. Um, all righty. Let me just message Phil real quick. All righty. Perfect. So we've got another... Uh, Video tribute to play for you. This one's from CJ Paradise. Good friend of mine. We've had him on the show a couple times. So I'm going to play that for you now. Then we're going to bring in our next uh, next bit of guests. Sorry, a little bit too much champagne. <laughs> next bit of guests. And I see that's my style. See you around. And we may bring on Greeny Travels because I don't see Phil quite yet. So we will see how that works out. And we'll go from there. So let me go ahead. <laughs> Lot going on here, guys. Keep with me. Uh, I'm going to play the uh, tribute from CJ Paradise, and we'll bring on the next round of guests. Scroll down here, and there we go. Hello, Richard. Just chilling out here on the beach, CJ Paradise. Just wanted to say congratulations on your 50th live stream, and hopefully you'll be at 10,000 on that same day. That would be awesome. We're all a big family here on YouTube. I support you 100% what you're doing. It's awesome helping everybody out like that. Cheers, my friend. CJ Paradise, welcome back to the Saturday Live Show. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Not like you planned that or anything. You did it just because of the flag that you had on that shirt. I uh, took a little bit of creative license on the thumbnail. CJ called me out. He's like, I'm sure Richard, that uh, shirt I'm wearing does not have an American flag on it. It does now. It does now. Well, hello, everyone. So we've got Kwong from See You Around. I see that's my style. And Mr. Egg with the mic. Hi. All right. Hi, yes. All right. Success. Guang from See You Around. You're in some kind of a mansion. Look at this place behind you. Wow. <laughs> windows and stuff. Oh, my gosh. I see. How are you? So nice to have you back. Yay. Thank you. I'm great. Hi, Mr. Phil, Mr. Egg. Hello, I see. Kitty. Oh, that's very kind and sweet. Pakwan, Pakwan. That's right. Yes, smooth talker, are. smooth talker. Phil, you see, I'm boozing it up on the show today. Got the champagne oh, opened up. Well, <laughs> just, just a little pro tip, Richard. When, when you're on a green screen, don't use a green bottle. Well, no, it's okay. Right. Oh, oh, okay. You know why? Okay, I, I flipped it see. to blue. I flipped it to okay. blue. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in Thailand where we can't drink, so I'm on the water. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh. That's okay. That's right. What's so you can cheers with me, Mr. Egg. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and cheers. I see. I see. Cheers. Over, the, over, the, over the other way. The, where, uh. This way. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this way. My bad. <laughs> now... So, Phil, you've met I see You guys did a great video together. Sure. Now, have you met Guang from CU? I didn't meet Guang. She was oh. in the hotel room when I was interviewing I see and I was going, "Am I am I going to meet Guang? Am I am I going to meet?" No, no, you are not going to meet Guang. Quite quite sternly told that I was not going to meet Guang. So, obviously, Guang was not wanted to see me. So, but it's okay, you know. No, it's not. 
เลยเด้อารมณ์เสียอารมณ์เสียตอนนี้มันเสีย Think you recognize the wrong person. You you are going to is I see in the room at Guang. You thought I am at a Guang. Yeah. At the time. I see. You've got to remember. I just get confused. I'm I'm really easily confused. Sorry about that. But it was lovely to do that interview with you. Two pretty girls, so it's like kind of difficult, you know. And two handsome men. I don't know. And look at Rich Archer wearing the shirt for celebration. Fifty live show. Right. How's it going? Congratulations. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I tell you what, Richard. I'll I'll take my top off for fifty. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it to the others. You know. I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm... <laughs> yeah. So, two girls, one egg. Sorry, guys. I tried. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah. So Phil, how you doing, man? Can we get an update from you? I know everyone's very concerned. I don't want to get thank too personal. You. Can, can I just say thank you to everybody that has messaged me and and sent me uh, best wishes? I I had um uh, some heart trouble a couple of weeks ago, and I had to uh, take a few days out. And uh, so th yeah, I'm uh, I went to see a cardiologist yesterday, um, yeah. and I'm gonna be under the knife sort of thing next week. So uh, this time next week, I'll either be like pumping with a new heart or dead. So, oh. so they a pick. What? So what are they doing? Are they really doing <laughs> no, something I, serious? That was it. That was a joke. That was right, a joke. Okay. Um, yeah, no, they're That's doing a, It begins with an A. I, I forget this. Is it Andi angiogram or something? They're doing. They're going up through my groin and looking through my heart and then seeing uh, if I need to um, have any work done. Sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Is that going to be in Bangkok? Is that, is that that's in Bangkok? Video. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, at the. Can I just say to the the Bangkok Christian Hospital is just wonderful. Just um, as soon as I walk through the door, I just got a wonderful feeling, and and it was just a great place. And I, I it was they were wonderful people there. Lovely. Hi, chocolate man. Saying that you're using your new smile on these impressionable young ladies. Ah, wow. you see. Ah. Yeah. I had a tough, I had a tough fallout as well, and you know, like they offered me a, fa a, f a false tough. They says you can wear this, and I went, you know, I'm not really into fake things, so yeah. I just thought, I, you know, I just tell people. I can see, you know, when I'm talking to people in the bar, and I'm saying like, uh, "Hi, yeah, I'm Mister," oh, and they're just staring at the tooth, and I'm going, "By the way, I, I've got a tooth missing at the moment, so you know, yeah." So it's well, just replacing teeth are not with. cheap. It's not cheap there, you know. No, it's expensive. It's going to yeah. be, but but actually, I could have had it done, but they they've got to wait a while because my my gums aren't that good. So, so let's talk about me. Uh, what about the other two girls? Come on. No, I want to talk about Icy's awesome videos that she's pumping out there because she's putting <laughs> some good ones out. She did a new one just today, I think, that was yeah. launched. You want to talk about that, Icy? That was a great video for the food and stuff. Yeah, so I went to some street restaurant. It's like buffet noodle. And they get you can review the chicken joint and chicken blood. And the vegetable, you can refill it. No shard. It's oh. quite cheap. It's only fifty baht. Fifty oh, Thai baht. Interesting. Wow. I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you so <laughs> feel hungry all the time, little girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, yeah, I think the videos are getting more views now too, right? I see people are finding your channel more. Yeah, I hope so because. Maybe it's the, about the thumbnail. The noodle is look very interesting with the full portion. I yeah. see. I see. People aren't yeah. looking at your channel because of the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry oh, to break yeah. this news to you. The noodles look nice, but you look yeah. nicer. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I should always say back one. <laughs> I love that. So. Yeah, just come to my channel and check what how it look like about the noodles and another video. I went to Chinatown, went to Nana for filming and get some food, street food, and the big market. Many video is will be coming soon. Yeah, I love those. I mean, you do a great job with the videos and editing as well. But Guang, now you are doing a lot of modeling lately, so not a lot of videos coming out. I was you know, I was messaging Guang like. 
Wow, it's one actually, of the new videos coming out. You just did one? Do it today also. Yeah, actually, I'm working wow. on it. So uh, this week, I do a lot of video, actually. Like HV stuff or uh, what is that? Food, cafe. Actually, so many. I was going to do the video all whole week and next week I'm going to start eat it all. <laughs> yeah. I got to say, like, I'm not really big on Instagram, but I'm getting big on Instagram because like the best Instagram, uh, I don't know if I want to say like channels, what do you call Instagram accounts are see you round and I see that's my style. Wow. Great pictures on those. Wow. You guys are amazing. Just Hot amazing. <sighs> Man. Great I'm going to just leave the, the link to Instagram. You can come to check our beautiful photo on there. Yeah. Ordinary food, playing, sport, anything and on there. I think you're inspiring a lot of people to kind of up the game on their Instagram account. I know Mr. Egg is looking to do some photo shoots on the beach in Pattaya. Uh, I, right? I was going to say, you've, you've conveniently skipped over my modeling <laughs> career, Richard, which is coming quite well. I've you know, had a Philip, Philip Morris have been in touch and yeah, we, we, we're doing okay. Yeah. The, uh, the swimsuit, the swimsuit um, section of the sports illustrated has, uh, has been in touch. So um, yeah. <laughs> That's great. What were you saying? Guang was saying something funny, I think. <laughs> uh, if you need any uh, photographer, let me know. I'm free. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. We can, we can okay. do a twosome thing. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of views there. That'd be great. Now, Guang, Sorry. I want to know the truth. I want to know how many YouTube creators you're helping with their videos. Because I know you do a lot of video editing for certain people. Who do you help out? I, Tell us today. Not, not, not so much. Uh, see, she's Actually, good, been, good uh, woman. Some video with, uh, what is that? Think Dog Thailand. Oh. A few days ago, too. Yeah, this was fun about the uh, fishing squid in Patia. That's oh. gonna be fun. I so good. Like it's like what is that? Footage is very good. So I think oh. it's gonna be very fun to eat it. I can't oh, okay. wait to go back home <laughs> to eat it. I'm looking for water. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I see. So it's interesting because I didn't know that you were so into technology because the first time I had you on, you posted a picture to your Instagram with all the yeah. equipment you were using. Wow, man. Yeah. She had like a separate camera focused here, laptop there, had a big screen off in the distance. Like, I was like, wow, she's like next level her game. I had no idea. Oh, yeah, I just want to use my equipment more advantage from them because I already spent money for bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne is asking, Egg, what is your channel? It's Le Pub Pattaya. Le, Le Pub Pattaya, yes. Le Pub Pattaya. Or the one best word. bar on Soy Diamond. That's right. You can see yeah. that. There we go. Hey, did you notice that I actually made sure your shirt was the Le Pub was uh, visible in the thumbnail? <laughs> well, I did notice that I was actually center in the thumbnail. I was like, you know, in the money shot. I was there. I was, I was quite impressed, obviously. I mean, you know. I'm just looking for free I, drinks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was pies, but okay, drinks, drinks, no problem. Well, drinks when I come out there, it'll be fine. You. Can I try you, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My God. And I felt so bad because Icy had like a great spot in the thumbnail, like with her dress on and full screen, but I had to move someone over. And I, when I did that, I just felt like a coldness come over me, almost like Icy was telling me, you can't do that. Yeah, I'm, I hate you now. <laughs> But there was only so much room. I felt so bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just try to make it more balanced with two sides. Yeah, yeah. And you did a great job, Richard. And Guang, you were like one guest away from being covered up. <laughs> you had like one a guess? nice, yeah, if there was one more, you would have been kind of covered up a bit, I think. So, really? yeah, you're pretty close. <laughs> only so much room. It's tough. Nice. Well, Captain Captain George is asking, is Icy still single? Ooh, question. Good question. I see. Yes, yeah, silence. Silence. I don't know why. I saw why keep asking why no one flirting to me. Maybe they think something in their mind. I would love to know that. Can you guys tell me, please? Why, why have to ask uh, if, if she's single? Why not act like 
if they can be her boyfriend or something like that. <laughs> That's right, Guang. Yeah. Right. See, and I Guang. So I Guang's like stressing out because she knows I'm going to ask the same question. So Guang, <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? See, no. I asked the right question there, Mr. Egg. See that? Silence is golden. golden. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe we skip this one. <laughs> yeah. So I guess no, you're supposed she's to say, available. Kung Kung, you're supposed single. to say, my, my kajai, my kajai, pu pasa angi mi dai. That means I do not understand. I do not understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear that a lot when I speak Thai. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my oh, you know that. My but you can't speak Thai, pu my kajai. Can you speak English? Yes. Uh, no, I don't speak English, but you can respond the foreigner how how you understand that. So that would be what Kung Ko Jai Pasa English uh Makma Wow. What is that? Uh Kung Ko Jai. So what do you understand English? Kung Ko Jai Pasa English? No? Kung Kao Jai Kung Kao Jai Kao Jai Krap Kao Jai. All right. Mr. Egg is a good English. teacher for you now. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, can I can I ask you a small favor? Yes. Well, actually, two. First of all, I've actually got a live stream on after yours at midnight yes. on my channel. So, shh, don't good timing. Me. Good timing. Secondly, secondly, um, w w when you talk to Martin uh, from uh, NDTVI, uh, don't don't mention d don't mention the quiz show. Don't don't, don't okay. mention. Okay. All right. Okay. Curly right. fries. Don't mention curly fries. <laughs> Well, we already talked. So Phil's not been paying attention. We already talked to Martin. Mr. Oh, you already took. Yeah, come on. Keep with the station there. Keep the channel. Come on. What? But what time did you start? Well, we had to bring them in in between stuff. It got crazy. Don't ask a lot of questions. Oh no, he's stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed out now. Did you? Did you? Did you? Shh. Did you? Did you mention the quiz show? Shh. No. No one can know that. No, no one can know that. <laughs> All right. Now it's just getting weird, Mr. Egg. That's just getting weird. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull the ripcord. You guys, thanks for coming on. Thanks for supporting my channel and videos. Thank Wong, you so much. I see that's myself. Thanks for coming on my show. Take care. Thank thanks, you Martin. And congratulations. Congratulations to you. Mr. Egg, thank you for all the promotion you do on my channel. I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot to me. Richard, congratulations on, on 50. I was going to say 50 years, but it's 50 shows, isn't it? <laughs> Probably yeah. feels like 50 years, but yeah. congratulations. <laughs> And thank all you, right. Kwan. And thank you, Icy. Lovely to see you both. Thank right. you, see everyone. Good to see you. Bye. Bye. Great. Hey, we're trucking along. We're bringing guests in. We're moving them out. Martin said he never would have thought I would be able to do this. He thought it was going to be crazy. No, we're doing good. Got some great guests coming on here. Let me just do this and take care of that. Some maintenance. Doing pretty good. All right. Mr. Egg goes away there. There we go. Perfect. All right, got the last group of guests coming on. Numbers are staying strong. We're looking good. We got Greeny Travels with Phi coming on. We got Thailand Rob coming on. And Mr. Mitch, the moderator, the baddest. We're going to bring him on. It's going to be good. So let me just do this. Go through and see if there's anything else I need to play before that. I think I have played the CJ Paradise one. We're good to go. Let's bring in some guests by doing this. There we go. All right, guys. <laughs> Greeny travels. What are you doing? What kind of eyeglasses are those? <laughs> Ray -Bans. Ray -Bans. Oh, okay. Wow, those are new for me. Haven't seen those. The well, other yet. ones are too uh, too scratched up already. I got to go to the. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I love that name. Your girl, Fi, Fi, and Greeny travels. What's up, Rob? Awesome. Thailand, Rob. Welcome to the live show, man. What's going on? Can you hear me? Sounds good. Mr. Mitch, do an audio check on you. Can we hear you? So, I, yeah, I hear everybody. I suppose you hear me. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thanks for taking the time to come on. What are you drinking there, Rob? I bought something special today for you. Oh, Since Singa. You, yeah, yeah, this is, this is uh, Singa's Reserve Specialty Brew, which I will not show because, you know, everyone wants to say that, oh, you can't show beer on YouTube, but you can, but don't do it. I didn't tell you, but I bought one just for you. So there we go. There you go. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you for celebrating with me. Fi, this is the first time you and I are talking. Welcome to the live show. Thanks for coming. Welcome. 
So Phi can had, me? yeah, can hear you good. And Phi okay. submitted a dance video on behalf of Greeny Travels that I then took some liberty with, kind of fast forward, rewind, loop it around. Hopefully she's okay with that. Were you okay with my, what I did to your dance I'm, video? I'm okay, I'm okay. But the one thing I, I want to see is a Greeny dance. Yeah, come on, Greeny. I, I didn't see it. Yeah. There you go. I bet you if I talked to Phi separately, she would say Greeny can dance. He just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> we thought about dancing when it came on, but uh, yeah, not enough alcohol. <laughs> not enough alcohol? <laughs> No. Well, Fi did a great job. Yeah. Now, Thailand, Rob, how's it going with you? Where you are, man? Where are you at now? Oh, it, yeah, it's fine up here. Everything's the same. I walk down the streets and they look at me like I'm lost. Yeah, but you get that most of the time, anyways, right? Yeah. Well, when when you in the in the compathon, <laughs> when you're a white guy walking down the street, all they think of is COVID. So I have to explain <laughs> oh, that yeah. I don't have it. Yeah. I almost wish there was like some kind of patch you could wear saying I've been vaccinated or, or not, I guess. Well, I wish there was, I, I need to wear a patch that says I've been here for six years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give you almost like your tie. Right. So yeah. there are no rush to give us the vaccinations here. So. <laughs> yeah. Five. Have you, have you gotten greeny, your jab? Greeny, greeny. It wouldn't hurt if you smiled, man. <laughs> <laughs> we can go with you the same He's, he's we can go that, with the theme of the channel, Rob. He's got he's got that theme. And he's just kind of like, I'm serious. I mean it. Kiss my ass if you don't like it. <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> and, so the funny thing, I don't know if I shared this with you guys, like with the thumbnail. So I took a picture of Greeny and Fi and put in the thumbnail. I didn't realize this until I changed the background that the top of Greeny's head was actually literally cut off. So I went back to the original uh, picture thinking it was me that might have cropped it. It was actually cut off. So I had to choose the color brown, make a circle, and put that over the pot, top of your head, Greeny, and then put it in the back. Oh, so really? it gave you the rest of your you head. Get yeah. that off of Facebook or something. Man. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. I, was looking. I was trying to find a picture where you're smiling. Hey, Rich. No, that doesn't happen. Did, <laughs> did you see what was going on on the camera while you were talking to the other people? <laughs> no, you were doing all kinds of crazy stuff there. I saw. Oh, all right. All right. Just, you could have saw something. Uh, that day, but, all right. yeah, we're trying to make you laugh. While yeah, you're we, we, we try not to record those uh, sessions, Greeny, the okay. green room stuff. Yeah. Get what happens in the green room stays in the green we were room. Just, we thought he could see it, so we were trying to get him to <laughs> yeah. laugh while I was doing the other interview. <laughs> That's funny. So what we got, I feel like Mr. Mitch is always a moderator. He's no, always looking at comments. Did I miss a good one, Mr. Mitch? I'm um, just... Oh, chocolate man. I'm just cracking He looks exactly up. like Jean-Claude Van Damme when he dances. <laughs> See, but how great is it that Fi, like, Fi went to bat for you. Like, she's like, I'll do the dance. I'll do it. Have you, have you ever she seen Jean-Claude? Jean I was taping. She had no clue. She had no clue. Have, have you no ever clue. seen Jean-Claude Van Damme running? Have you ever watched Jean-Claude Van Damme running? That's what made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Oh my God! It's too late. It's too late at night for this. Yeah, it's tough to get people dancing. It's really I'm surprised how difficult it's been to get people to record videos of them dancing. But you know, whatever. What are you gonna do? Nice. But it's funny, Rob. So I think the first time I had you on, wow, really a big boost up for my channel having you on. I know that Brian Flowers actually put us together. Um, well, I have a lot of haters, and so yeah, I'm sure you got a, a couple of people watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gre yeah. Greeny, you know, he he he's one of my guys that you know he follows me and he knows what haters are like. We talked about it before. Yeah, so yeah, we, he understands when I show up. So do the haters. Yeah, <laughs> Rob was my uh, motorbike taxi guy one night. And, uh... <laughs> hey, 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 that's a true story, but we won't talk about it here. <laughs> <laughs> We're free people with no amis. You it's know, funny when you go, you go on Bolt and you and you wait for your ride and it's Thailand Rob. What the? Hey, you got to make a buck where you can make a buck. At I'm least I got a work permit, I'm right? Joking. You would need a work permit. This is a joke. It's a joke. You just gave me a ride from one place to another. Uh, Better watch what we say. Somebody may report you, Rob. I, <laughs> no, absolutely. Brown and some, Actually, it would be videos. funny. I, I, that would be funny because. Yeah, in any anything that the haters come at me with, with work permits or visas or whatever like that, I've got so much arsenal for them. Uh, I shouldn't even say that, but yeah, <laughs> if they ever come after me, good luck. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you can worry about it. 
it's so funny because one of my favorite videos of yours, Greeny, that you put up is actually probably wouldn't you wouldn't guess that is my favorite. It's the one where you're sitting on the balcony talking about the positives and negatives from the condo that you were in oh. in Pattaya. And I, the reason I loved it so much is you're kind of going through the list, and each time you go through another negative, you're like, oh shit, I didn't realize there's so many negatives on this one. I thought it was more balanced, but yeah, that right. place really sucked. <laughs> it was like no, the net, you know what? It. it wasn't that bad. It was just when we moved out. That's when the foam gun exploded and blew through the ceiling. I wasn't even living there anymore. That's when I went back to turn on the key, and there's a hole in the ceiling. The place is flooded, and oh, it just, so it left Jesus. me kind of like with a God. rotten taste in my mouth at the very end. You know, yeah, overall, yeah. it was pretty enjoyable. You know, there was things I liked and didn't like, but that really kind of soured the deal for me. Yeah. Fi, how did you like living in Pattaya in the condo? Do you prefer me more in the area you're in now? Which I don't want to say because I don't know if it's common knowledge. And you mean in inside the city or outside? Oh, no, before. Outside. Before. Yeah. I like there, but I just don't like too many people. Um, yeah, I, I, I just don't like like many things that are too busy or many car, many people. I, I, I just I don't know, but I don't like it. It's, it can't breathe. We were driving down the other day. We went down there and we went to take that picture for the thumbnail. And we went down uh, 15 and made a run right outside the couch. She cut off a motorbike. The guy pulled the lock locks out of her, yelled at her. Then she started chasing him down the street. It was like a road rage. So it's a good thing she's not in a heavy traffic area. And I wish I was rolling with the camera then. That would have been uh, probably a good vlog or something. Yeah, that's good. That, that good. I want to say the reason, one of the the main reason I do not want to live in Pattaya is exactly what she just said. There's so much traffic. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a bad place, but the traffic is crazy it's, in Pattaya. Yeah. It's crazy, a lot of yeah. People it's crazy. It's, you know. There's it's so like, many people. And it's like you have to be careful when you drive in a car or you 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 be on the motorbike or you walking. Like oh yeah, it's like. Larry, you, you never think about touching the bank. You have to like, um, I gonna go or not? Oh, he gonna go or this guy gonna come? It's like what? Yeah, yeah. But she's right. It's she, like, she's it's absolutely the right. The the number one reason I told remember Kevin Thailand when I used to visit Kevin Thailand, I told him I said he said you should move here and I said I don't like how many people are here so many people in Pattaya, but I'm talking about the traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're close enough that, you know, we're there once, twice, three times a week doing different things. In fact, tomorrow we're probably going to go pick up some food from there. I talked to a guy to a moment, come to his place to get some food. And, uh, but then we're close to other things too. I mean, there's a lot of other things in the whole, like Pattaya, you know, Chambury, region. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that people don't realize. The first five times, six times I was there, I never I'm got out I'm just enjoying of the show, Chocolate Man. Yeah, yeah. I never got out of that central area, so I didn't know about all this other stuff that's happening, you know, out by the winery and all, you know, Spikes Race. There's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the region. Yeah, for sure. A lot of places to go to, like Silver Lake Winery, which is one of my favorite mm -hmm. places to go. Good wine there. Yeah, Chinese you know, Temple fine. over there. Yeah, that place is cool. Nice, yeah. you know. It's nice, nice. Lot, Laser Buddha. Nice. Well, I wanted Beautiful to kind of area. thank you guys, all you've done to kind of support my channel over the year. Um, Mr. Mitch has been a great moderator since the beginning, so I really appreciate all that he's done. Yeah. I don't no, know, if, Rob, if he moderates on your channel. or He Green does, he Mr. Yeah. Mitch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Greeny, yeah, does he moderate it. on your channel on your lives? I've only done one live stream, and that was a couple days ago, and... I don't know how you could do it without a moderator. I only had like 70 people on there and I couldn't even keep track of anything. But but Richard, I want to say I wanted to thank you because, you know, I had done videos every now and then, not on a regular basis. And I did a couple in quarantine and somehow you saw it, had me on when I had like 100 subscribers. It wasn't even, you know, I wasn't serious about this. And uh, bam, it kind of took off. And then the day I got out of quarantine, I met up with Foreigner Joe and I was on his channel. And it, like between yours and his, my momentum just kind of went crazy and it hasn't stopped. So pretty happy you started it all off. So appreciate well, thank it. you for that, Brian. I really appreciate that. Uh, thanks at all, all that you've done to support my channel as well. So I appreciate yeah. that. It was, it was a pleasure for me to have you on. You know, had you on twice, once before quarantine, once after quarantine. And 
Yeah, I mean, those videos were a big hit. People really enjoy your channel. So you're doing all the I right things. I think I still have the record for uh, most on at one time, like 250 or two Yeah, I think we had 267 in the live chat, that last yeah, one you did. I don't know. So. What, that was a new well, record. happened to see me, but... <laughs> yeah. well, I think it was the day state or the uh, that condo you were in. So I don't know what just happened. It was there. that, and uh, I put it in the video that day that I was going to be on, so it was just a few hours ahead. Yeah, that, that helps a lot. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Rob, thank you for coming on as well. Man, you've been on a couple of times. I appreciate all your support. And thank you also for all the messages we exchanged too. He kind of knows when I'm down the dumps a little bit. Rob will pick me up with a great, <laughs> funny comment. Um, you know, the uh, cryptocurrency comment was kind of funny, Rob. So <laughs> made me laugh, but I appreciate that, man. You're a good friend. I look forward to meeting you in person. Yeah, yeah, same here, same here. Uh, yeah. That my job is to make people smile. That's it. And I got a new. Oh, by the way, I got a new T-shirt coming out. The old uh, <laughs> Greenies promoting his shirt. But yeah, what does your shirt say, Greeny? Detroit. Rob Pistons got the number one pick. Okay. <laughs> one of the championship Ooh. next year. Lions, Ching Law. Lions are going to the Super Bowl before I die. Oh my god. That's good. Brian wants to live into his 90s then because it's going to be a while, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Well, thanks, guys, for coming on. Mr. Mitch, thanks for all that you do to help support my live shows each week. We made it to 50. I couldn't have done thank it without you. you. I want to say thank you to Richard's mom. Oh, yeah. She'll love that. Oh, yeah, I she want watches to every live too. show. <laughs> all right, everyone. Rich, Richard's mom, thank you. She loves that. I'm She's drinking watching. coconut watching. water here. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, everybody. Richard's mom. Richard's mom. I appreciate you it. Have your mom on, Richard. Oh, she's a little, you know, I don't know. She got a phone, right? Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> she, she got a phone, right? <laughs> Get her on. Makes her privacy, that. man. Makes, maybe on the comeback show. Maybe the comeback show. <laughs> we want yeah. to you stump the host. Richard, you stump the host. Richard, that's your next shirt. She got a phone, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're, try, we're trying phone. to take my dad's phone away. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, you guys, you for coming phone. on. Yeah, she got a phone, right? I'm going to wrap it up for the show and get to my, my vacation. So appreciate Thanks, you guys everybody. coming on. Thank you. Oh, I'm you next time. <laughs> That's great. Really appreciate having Greeny and Fi on and Rob and Mr. Mitch. That was great. Really loved that. Um, and I got a super chat here. I want to call to attention here from 30 to wake up call. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Let me go up here. Why can't I see it? There we go. Thanks for putting together, Richard. This is great. Happy 50th. I've found so many great channels on here. And so I think that's a nice segue for me to kind of wrap up things here a little bit is that that's really why I started the channel, started the, the live show was, you know, I ran out of content on videos from Thailand. I just re returned back from a Thailand vacation. The situation kicked off and I was really at a crossroads. Like, what do I do? Do I, you know, start to do live streams, which I was not very good at. I wasn't very good at talking in front of the camera by myself for an hour. Uh, the moderators had some ideas around bringing guests on. And initially, I wasn't really too keen on it. But it wasn't until I had my first guest on that I saw the difference I could make on those channels. They would kind of be exposed to a new audience. They'd get some additional views. They'd grow with subscribers. That I realized, ah, that's something I can do. I can help other people, other channels. So it really motivated me to keep after it and keep raising my bar each game, you know, adding a microphone, adding some graphics, putting videos in the live stream. That was really what I wanted to do to help bring people in and discover not only my channel, but the others that were coming on the show. So now it's time for me to take a little bit of a break. You know, everyone's asking me, how long will it be? I just don't know. You know, I think I'll know once I get into it and start kind of feeling what I want to do. I'll be having some uh, conference calls with Lucas from Rides for Kicks around some strategies around tweaking the show a little bit. And it's all about making it better moving forward. So a lot of ideas that I have, but uh, I'm going to start to kind of wrap things up here, guys. It's kind of bittersweet for me here. I get a little emotional because it is, you know, the last show here for a little while. So uh, we just go down here. I think we just had another super chat come in from Chocolate Man in Thailand. Thank you for that. Congrats. And don't stop now. Skip the break and keep grinding. Yeah, I appreciate that. But I will say thank you for everyone that's kind of come in over the last 50 shows and viewed them. I got a great outro coming up, so please don't tune out yet. Um, but I will say thank you for everyone that's kind of viewed, subscribed, shared my videos, watched. You know, I'll still be continuing after a little bit of a break. 
I look forward to kind of seeing everyone back in a couple of weeks. And here comes Chief Charlie. They don't want to see me go. People are super chatting, so I won't go. Um, Chief Charlie, thank you for that. Much enjoyed. Appreciate that. Chief Charlie's been big on commenting on my Resharp Returns of Thailand videos as well, the video series I did. So I appreciate that, Chief Charlie. Really appreciate you coming in and uh, recommending my channel when you do your live shows. So I'll leave you with this. If I don't see you guys, I will say good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm going to take a break. I'll come back stronger than ever. Yeah, let's do what else. Where's the TV guy?